Hello, this is Ho from Trifle Production with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can actually create flares in Blender the easy way. Now in After Effects, they have uh, optical flares. Uh, but in Blender, they don't have one, but there's an add-on that actually does it. It's an add-on that you have to pay for, but it's worth the price. Once again, it's the same process when it comes to downloading it. And I'll leave a link of it below this video. But once you've downloaded it onto your system, to install in Blender, it's the same process. Go to Edit, Preferences, Install, and just navigate to where you've installed it on your system. Click on Install Add-on. I've already done that myself. And then when you have done that, it's called Flares Wizard. Let me type that in. Put a check in the box, and it's activated. Now I'm using Blender 2.92. <clears throat> And the version of this add-on is, I think it's 2.01. Let me make sure of that. You see, this is, yeah, 2.01. And I think they've added more, I've done more updates to it. I think there's a 2.03, but it's still the same process. You've installed it, now it's in Blender. The interface looks pretty basic, but once you start using it, it actually has a whole lot of options for you to, to analyze or to actually use in your scenes in Blender. Now I'm going to pretty much uh, unselect everything in the scene by pressing A. I'm going to click on this plus sign and when you've done that you can you have these two options add new or load from file. I just click on the thumbnail and it gives you all these options here of different kinds of flares and there's a lot of flares you can choose from. Let's pick uh, that one and you can see that it hasn't done much to the scene itself but if you look into the 3d camera there's a gray box in there because that's where the flare is once you've added the flare to anything in real life you don't see the flare itself just pretty much uh, in nature it has to interact with a screen or a glass object in order for you to see it uh, so i was going to click on uh, that viewport shading just to get a different view and there's our flare now this works in Eevee and in cycles it's the same result which is great uh, and I'm using 2.92 for this add-on for, for the newer version of the add-on that's for 3.0 and above like 2. Point, uh, I think this 2.02 .02 and so on and so forth of the add-on that's for 3.0 and above this 2.0 is for 2.92 and that series so to speak but it's the same principle still now we've added our flare you can customize it you have all these options here you have the glow main glow medium uh, glow large just click on any one of these go to shader you can change the intensity the fall off so on and so forth go to transform you can change the position of it change the rotation change the scale and this these presets or these options uh, apply to every aspect of the flare. You can turn uh, parts of the flare off, uh, turn them back on. Uh, but let's explore it a little bit more. So let's uh, delete this one. And we're going to add another flare. Let me go up higher. Let me see. I can't. Oh, yeah. Let's delete it. Let's delete the main flare by pressing minus. And we're going to explore other options of the add-on which you can utilize to improve or to actually add more flair, so to speak, to your scene. I'm going to click on plus sign again. And uh, the thumbnail, the options for choosing a preset for your flares is just not only here, but it's also up here also. Quick load and preview is there also. And the cool thing about the thumbnails is you can make them bigger by going here, regular. You can make them tiny, small, regular. If you click on tiny and click on the then thumbnail, it'll give you all the thumbnails here in a smaller version. So you can see most of them at the same time. Uh, if you go to large, click on that, it makes the thumbnails bigger. So you can see, it, see them a little bit better, which is also cool. We're going to stick with regular. Uh, you can add from here or replace from here. It's up to you. But I usually use the uh, option down here myself. And then, like I said before, let's click on something different. Let's click on 
let's click on our lights i usually like to connect uh the flare to a light myself left click on that just now move gizmo pull this down you can see it's in our lens here let's go to camera view there and we're going to choose this one it's going to appear there and there we go and the reason why i like to uh put it on a light is because you can move the light around and have it interact with the lens of your camera and the cool thing about this add-on also is the flares you can add it to anything in your scene any object in your scene you can add it to a cube add it to suzanne if you have car headlights you can add the lens flares to a, the car headlights themselves and give to give your car headlights a more realistic view which is cool now if we scroll down or we'll scroll up actually let me see uh, actually let's scroll down a little bit and we have the, this option of background plane if you click on that and click on add background and it gives it it actually adds a black background to uh, our scene and the cool thing about that is that it actually is at the same angle that our camera is so that way we don't have to try to adjust the plane in order for us to actually have it engulf the whole lens of the camera and not only that with our background we can change the color of it or change the textures of the background so it's not solid black and that option is right here left click on our envelope and you have all these options here of like bokehs bokehs like some kind of distortion uh that that you can add to your scene in terms of blurs to make your scene stand out a little bit more so let's add this one open image and it adds that to our scene so that's also something helpful and not only can you add bokehs to uh the backgrounds of the image layer for uh flare wizard let's close that out i want to show you guys something else here uh delete background there we go if you scroll down you can add actually add more elements to your lens flare in terms of uh, i'm going to say like the ring hoop simple 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 that's what this flare is made up of but if we minimize this part and we click on let me see click on elements we have our elements here oh sorry about that let me scroll there we go we have our elements here let's scroll down a little bit more let me minimize that we have our elements we can add more elements to our to our flare by clicking on that plus sign and this gives us a whole different set of elements that we can use to add to our flare let's click on lens dirt click on that and it adds more dirt to our scene not only does it add more dirt to the scene to our lens flare if you go down to let me see shader we have that same option that we have for the background for our lens dirt so we can change the lens dirt also <clears throat> excuse me also we can add more dirt to it or change the texture of the dirt so to speak by clicking on our envelope there and it gives us the exact same options in terms of elements to add to the dirt so let's click on this one see what it does open image and you can see it adds, added the that's blue and red to the lens and that's customizable too you can change position location scale so on and so forth if click on that again we can change it further uh, let's add let me see let's add this one to it open image and it's added that to it's added it subtly to the scene but it's added it to the point that it actually adds more realism to our lens flare so yeah, this is a really, really cool add-on and does a great job of adding more to your scene. Like I say, you can press G on, on your light source and move that around and have, ha have it actually interact with your elements and with the lens in your scene. And one more cool thing I want to show you guys before I end the video. If you scroll up, you have uh, options here for blinking and optical detection. Now if we click on blinking, let's click on that. You see it got dim. Let's press play and see what happens. Now it flickers. Now that is really, really impressive. And that's another level of realism that the add-on adds to the lens flare. And obstacle detect detection, I, I'm thinking that if when that's activated, you can, you can actually have a model 
go in between your lens flare and your camera and it actually interacts with your object also, which is also helpful. So yeah, that's today's Blender Quick Tip, the Lens Flare Wizard, which is one tip top great add-on that you can use in any scene for Blender that you want to add more realism to your scenes. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip. I once again, thank you guys who have watched. I hope this was helpful for those of you who have been watching the videos and this one in particular. And I thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are, are subscribing now, and those of you who are subscribing in the future. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.